I just wanted to come to you guys today with another short video. I, I received a question from Sk Skater Dude 1020 and it's and it says <laughs> formatting D Dear Tom, my PC is r running slow and I've been told to r reformat. I don't want to do that because I don't know if the operating system will be deleted. Can can you please tell me if my OS will be deleted when I format my PC, David? Now, yes, it will. It will be completely deleted. So, whether you want to make that choice is, of course, up to you. I can't help you making that choice. If you need help to back up your existing installation in case you screw things up then I can help you with that but if you want help with that just message me back because I'll have to break that out into a separate video but well, what we're going to need you to do is go over to killdisc.com and get the ISO because this is the, this is the disc that we're going to be using to wipe your system um for it to work you need the dos only version and you need to download the iso once you have that burn it and there's plenty of tutorials on youtube again if you need help with that i can show you and then put it in your cd um, drive and restart your computer okay my computer has now restarted and we get this in somewhat scary but very simple interface we've got no mouse support and the first option is active kill disk and we just want to go down one option and, and select active kill disk free and then we we'll, we'll want to select ok and then we want to um, erase all data by pressing F10 at this point you need to be absolutely certain that you want to do this um. so we're just gonna Select F10 here. To erase all, all data. Yada yada. Right. That, can I use that now? Oh, hang on. Can I just to erase on? all data. Press F10, and then you come up with this interface, and then you need to go down to continue and erase. Um, at this point, you need to be absolutely certain that you backed up all your stuff, because you won't be able to get it back from this point. Once you click that button, it'll it'll continue for quite a while and then explain to you what you need to do to reboot and then you'll have to locate your operating system disks boot from those and install it now I'm in a comp com confined period of time for this video so if you need more help with that message me back and I'll be sure to um, get back to you on that with another video on the very near future.
But anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please comment, rate, and it really helpful if you subscribed. Thank you very much.